Hey folks, it's a pretty day out here at Wiregrass Hobby Farms and today we're going to cover a, a subject that I've been hard pressed to find anything on the internet about. That's brakes on a Case International, uh, particularly this 885 model here, but I think all the models in this series uh, use the same kind of brake systems. Uh, I don't have any brakes and that's a problem. So we're going to fix that today and I'll show you what I found out and uh, how we're going to fix this issue. This is a unique brake system on these kinds of tractors here. Uh, it's not self-contained like a normal brake system. It gets its hydraulic fluid from the oil cooler return line. So that's how it fills up the system. And then I'll show you here what happens is that fluid flows into this brake reservoir right here. And then there's two lines that each go down into your brake cylinders. Uh, from there, it operates like a regular brake system. It pumps fluid through a line, down into your axles where your brakes are. There's a brake bleeder back up under here uh, for you to open up and bleed just like you would normal brakes. The difference being is that there is a drain line on one of these ports of this reservoir that goes down into your case. So the reservoir doesn't uh, get all the way full. It doesn't retain fluid. Um, it, it's constantly flowing through that reservoir. Now, what we found out, what happens, here's the reservoir here. You can see it's got four lines on it. I'm just taking it out of the uh, solvent tank where we gave it a nice clean. <clears throat> you see that thick line right there? Is your return line what I was talking about and what happens is as you can see get it right here there are these stand pipes that go inside here and this you know you can see how far up in the reservoir that this will stand uh, it stands pretty pretty high in the top um, when the fluid reaches the top of that pipe it it overflows and flows back into your case um, what's known to happen with these systems here is that over time with heat cycles, uh, heat and cool, you know, the, it'll expand and retract and this standpipe will fall down into your return line. And when that happens, fluid doesn't get high enough into the reservoir to get to the top of the standpipes for your, for your brake lines here and then you don't have any fluid in there because it's all returning back to the case. So when I cleaned all this up in here, uh, and, that, and you want to do that first, you want to get as much trash out of here as possible because you don't want to get that stuff into your brake, brake system. Uh, took this out and I'll show you here real quick. Get that in there. I found this standpipe had fell down about that far into the reservoir. So that is uh, low enough to where the fluid level never gets high into the reservoir to provide fluid for the standpipes that go into the brake lines. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna get this all the way set back up in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of RTV sealant around this to try and uh, prevent that from happening again in the future. Uh, reinstall it on our lines here. Bleed the brakes. Normally I've got one of those little Harbor Freight brake bleeder kits. I'm gonna use that on here. Let's see if I can show you the uh, brake bleeder valve. If I can find it, it's, it's way up in there. It's a booger. It'll be a booger to work with. But uh, there it is, right there. You can see it. You can access it from the back. You just crack it open like you would a regular brake, uh, brake bleeder valve. Pull the air out. And then uh, hopefully we'll have some brakes. Uh, like I said, this, trying to figure out how this system worked was uh, a really good internet search project. I found an article over on, uh, I think, Red Power a red power forum for case international tractors there was somebody in there that had a a nice write-up for how that system worked but like i said i've never well i've never seen it actually on uh pictures of it or on video so uh 
here is for the internet researchers that are looking for this. I'll try to link that article if I can in the uh, description down below. But uh, yeah, so hopefully after this we're going to have some breaks. Uh, you know, sometimes it's not really a, a big deal so much on a tractor, but we bought some land about five miles down the road and I don't want to be pulling equipment uh, back and forth to the property without having having any brakes that could probably be disastrous so I'll try to do a little bit of follow-up after we get done after I get everything bled out uh, hopefully we'll have some brakes and we'll be back in business but if you have any questions about this system I'm not an expert by any means but tearing into it you learn a lot of different things so hopefully I can help you out. Thanks for watching.